Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. Today we are going to be doing a quick comparison of the Ombre Pillow Tabby and the previous models of uh, Pillow Tabbies that have come out. I want to show you guys the differences in some of the leather and the feel and the wear and the tear of the bag. So stay tuned to get all that good information. Remind me of 12th grade, remind me of young shade, feel like a new shoe, remind me of old games, taste like an ice cold, taste like a mango, feel like some new socks, taste like an angel, she look like a Badu. Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. My name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all things handbags because you guys know that I love both luxury and contemporary because um, I don't discriminate. So today, like I mentioned, we are going to be talking about the new pillow tabby that has come out. And by the time I am coming out with this video, I don't even know if it's new anymore. You guys probably already know about it. Um, I picked this up several weeks ago and I wanted to give you guys a quick comparison of the kind of look and feel of this pillow tabby versus the previous models that have come out um, in hopes that it helps you make a good decision about um, just the bag and I've seen one review of somebody who's had the bag and didn't love it. So I want to give you some of those uh, insights so that hopefully it'll help you in your purchasing decisions. So we're going to be talking about these three today because they are all similar and the same, but then they're all a little bit different. Um, you guys, I don't know if you know, I have like five or six pillow tabbies in my collection right now because apparently that's just me. Like I just... I just need to buy it in all colors. Um, but all of the colors are a little bit different and the leather feels a little bit different. Um, so I wanted to kind of share that with you in case you had any concerns about this new little nugget that came out and if it, you should add this to your collection. So this is the first small pillow tabby that I ever purchased. This is in the pale lime color. One of the things that I will say is that all of the bags are made the same in the sense that they have the slots on the inside they come with the two straps the long strap um the long crossbody strap as well as the um handheld strap here so i won't go over all that with each bag because the makings of the bag are very similar it's the touch and the feel of the bag that's a little bit different so this one feels soft um and I've worn this a bunch of times. The wear on this is pretty good. I could see that it is more of a matte finish um, for this lime one. So I imagine that it might be harder, I would say, to get things off of the bag um, if you were to spill anything on the bag, etc. This bag, on the other hand, is in the candy pink color. Um, this feels just amazing like the two of these feel totally different I'm sure it has to do with the dye perhaps um, but this one is so much softer and you just really want to lay your face on it and it's not like this one isn't soft but after you felt this one there's just a very different feel of it and I think again it has to do with maybe the kind of leather that they use I don't know if these came out the same time or the same season um, but this one is definitely like more luxurious feeling than the lime colored one now this one is a whole nother thing it feels nothing like any of them so it's soft because it's a pillow tabby but this definitely has some type of coating on it and I don't know what it is um, but there's some type of coating I think that's giving it the ombre color where these other ones are just straight up leather like you can see that this one again is more of a matte finish where this one the finish is a little bit more shiny which I doubt you can tell on camera but I'm telling you it really does seem like there's something on it like at some point it's gonna like peel off or something so I've worn this um, several times since I have purchased it and one of the things that I was gonna be concerned about is like how is it gonna is this gonna be like something where it's gonna crease and then it's gonna like peel off type of vibe 
I still don't know if that's going to happen. I don't think so because when I've used it a bunch of times, as you can see, I want to show you kind of the difference of like how this kind of folds up and you can see like every crease and cranny. And then how this one looks where, okay, I was hoping there was a difference. <laughs> There is how this one, obviously the creases are like a lot smoother. There aren't creases like everywhere because this is just straight up leather on leather. And then this one, it definitely feels like there's coating on it. So you can kind of see like every single ripple that's in the bag. Um, and even on the front, you can kind of see like every ripple that's on the bag. Um, after wearing it um, a couple of times, the wrinkles kind of, you know, smooth themselves out so far. I don't know how it's going to be over the long term. It might do exactly what I said. It might crease up and start to peel. I don't know. We're going to see. Maybe in a year from now, I'll do another video just to see how this particular bag held up. But I did want you guys to know that, that there is like a considerable difference in the leather and probably maybe the wear and tear on this. But I don't want it. It's, it's a fairly new bag in my collection, so I don't want to say that, but it definitely does look a little bit different. Um, and you can see kind of, you know, some of the creases a little bit more than you can in the leather. And here's kind of another example of like, this one has some small creases as you can see, but you this is definitely like more prominent and this is obviously the newer bag. So I wanted to show you guys that um, for me, it's not cause for concern, um, and maybe partly that's because I have a lot of bags in my collection and I really like the look of this bag. I think another part of it is that um, I think, and I'll have done research and put down below, that Coach does have some type of warranty on their, their bags. Um, so if anything did happen, you know, in the next year or two, I think I would be covered hopefully by that warranty. Um, and also, I don't know, I'm okay with a little like wear and tear on a bag. It's not really that big of a deal to me, but I do feel like this may end up wearing a little bit more than some of the other leather ones. Do you know what I mean? But again, I paid $4.50 for this bag and I have some very delicate bags that are thousands of dollars that I did not send back. So I will not be sending her back. I will be keeping her. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you that to see um, just so that you could know and, and maybe get your thoughts as well. Feel free to comment below if you have any specific questions. I'd love to do a little bit of research, get you some answers. Um, I will keep you guys updated on the wear and tear of mine. And I really do wonder too, for the bigger ones, the, the, the uh, 26 ones, I wonder if that is the same type of coating, which I, I mean, obviously I think that it would be, but I don't know if you have the 26 in the ombre, comment below, let me know how your wear and tear is. Is your super wrinkly? You loving it? Is it getting on your nerves? Love to know. Um, thank you guys again for watching another one of my videos. Appreciate all of my new and existing subscribers that are here. And if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, do it. It's free without the 99. It's just free. Um, I upload videos every Saturday at 1. And you guys know that I will see you next Saturday at 1. Bye.